My days are cooler, nights are warmer, and I put the blame on you. Time moves slow, but my heart beats faster. When these eyes are looking right at you, right at you, you give me something to believe in, just what I need it. Once again, I feel like one of these social media platforms uh, is headed up by somebody who doesn't mean us any good. Now, off, off mic, you were saying you like TikTok. Uh, oh, t- I look at it as a Chinese surveillance app, which is why um, I'm not. Oh, I'm not. Yeah. I don't care that the Chinese know what I like. I don't care. Okay. Amazon knows what I like. Okay. Right? Like, I don't care that the Chinese know to send me advertisements about sweatshirts and certain kinds of makeup and hair care products and whatever. And yes, I do buy stuff off a of TikTok shop. So sue me. It's no different than me buying something off a of Shine or Fashion Nova or any other thing that comes directly from China. I don't fear what China can do to me. I fear what Republicans will do to me. Wow. Because so you're, you're saying Republicans, United States Republicans are more of a threat to your liberty than China. Absolutely. I mean, because we can get our act together as a country and fight off anything China wants to do. They want to do something to me. They're going to have to come through the borders of the, of, of the United States of America. No, I they could do it cyberly, Pam. They, they could do, do it cyberly, special. but quite frankly, why would they? They just want my money, and I'm happy to give it to them if they give me stuff I want. Interesting. I, I am not afraid of China in that way. There are ways that I am afraid of China, right? I am afraid of cyber attacks on our grid. I am afraid of deep espionage on our on our weaponry. I am afraid of them undermining U.S. interests overseas in Africa. I'm very afraid of what they're doing in the Congo. I'm very afraid of what they're doing in South America and other places. But am I afraid that China knows what colors I pajamas I prefer? No. No, I'm not. And in the meantime, I get much better information and content on TikTok, which is precisely why the DNC credentialed all these content creators for the yeah. DNC. Why? First of all, the legacy journalists did not like it. They felt some kind of way about <laughs> they it. They did. I loved right? it. They didn't like But the content creators bring you, put their iPhone on what's happening and you see what's happening. And there is a s- distinct hunger in America to see what is happening without it going through the lens of some corporate media that wants me to know this, but not that, to see this and not that. I mean, I cannot get over, I don't think I will ever get over how much our legacy media made Joe Biden's age more of a deal breaker than Donald Trump's treason. I will never forgive legacy media for that. I will never trust them again the way that I used to for what they did, spending all their time focusing on the, you know, Joe Biden's age and infirmity, something we all know and knew when we chose him as our nominee, but made it more and more untenable, right? And stayed on that and just didn't talk about the craziness of Project 2025. Do you know how we know about Project 2025? TikTok. That was not on the mainstream media. If you spend as much time on social media as I do, you know that it's the mainstream media picks up from social media, not the other way around. Mainstream media is not only lazy, but it's also under-resourced. They don't have newsrooms like they used to. They don't have investigative operations like they used to. So they are often just picking up on what social media is talking about. And social media is phones on stuff that is happening. It is iPhones on stuff that is actually happening, especially when you talk about things like what's going on in Gaza. All of that information came to us by what was actually happening in real time, and it's still happening in real time. The mainstream media ain't trying to teach show us any of that because you have very moneyed interests that are trying to keep that away from the conscious and knowledge of the American people. I have a whole lot of problems with that. I have a whole lot of problems with that. So do I trust legacy media? No. If you say, well, do you trust China? I don't trust China with global, political, national security stuff. But do I care that China knows what I like to buy? No. Amazon knows what I'd like to buy, too. So what? They just send me more of the stuff I want to buy. 
So what? Uh. My days are cooler. Nights are warmer. And I put the blame on you. Time moves slow.